Hello, and welcome to Newway's booth here at the Turbo Symposium 2016. Newway developed this test rig to test our bearings, gas bearings for pumps and compressors regarding their tolerance to out of balance weights. So you can see this out of balance weight is spinning at a relatively low speed, but when we spin it at 2300 RPM, which was the first critical of the rotor we were about to implement these bearings on, we had an 800 pound radial force. Examples of new way air bearing spindles. A video demonstrating new way gas seals. A way of explaining how the porous media technology works. So this side of the one, two, three block has three square inches of area. So if I set it down on here and were to put 90 pounds of load on it, I would have 30 PSI unit loading under that uh, 123 block or between it and the bearing. And so that's the principle we use for sealing. Nothing less than 30 PSI will try to get into that gap because it would be like water running uphill. It just doesn't do it. Lower pressure does not move into higher pressure. So a high pressure gas seal has a lot of legs here in this industry. New way thrust face face seal that is mounted on a bellows and plumbed with pressure and vacuum. Tim will turn the vacuum on and set it onto a flat surface. You'll see the bellows compress. So the, the vacuum in the center is being protected from the atmosphere by the higher pressure in the air gap between the bearing face and the flat surface. This is a great example of the innovative sealing technology from New Way. Similar to the bellow vacuum loaded bearing face that you just saw, we have a much larger thrust bearing face here. Go ahead and pick that up, Tim. Let's see the bottom. So the outside perimeter here is the bearing face and everything on the inside has all got vacuum pressure to it. So go ahead and set it down, Tim. Now you will see that it's floating frictionlessly on just the air film. Uh, but when he turns the vacuum pressure on, you get about a ton of force pushing this blue bearing down onto the granite table. So this is a, uh, a TRC project that has been funded. And what we're trying to do is demonstrate that there's a stiffness and damping function of the air bearing that is very significant and importantly is adjustable by both preload and air pressure. So some of the tests that we did right here at the show with the Turbo Lab personality, we did some testing with uh, Yang from the Turbo Lab using his signal analyzer and instrumented hammer. And what we found was that we could change the natural frequency of the structure from 920 Hertz to 1284 Hertz, indicating a higher stiffness. And we were able to change the FRF, which is a, a suggestion about its damping. So you can see that going from 152 to 104, a very significant change in the damping uh, by just a small change in vacuum pressure or preload. This is a turbo expander demonstration. You can see the shaft here is spinning. I can stop it and start it. The, uh, the turbo expander looks like this on the inside, so you've got uh, thrust bearings running up against these faces and journal bearings out here. Some of the actual parts can be seen here. Uh, this is very similar to what you would see in an air products or expander type machine. So uh, these are the thrust bearings, and then the actual radial bearings you can see right here. They are made entirely from carbon, no metal parts. So they're very temperature resistant. They could go up to 400 C without oxidizing uh, and also to very low temperatures, having a low coefficient of thermal expansion so they, they stay uh, with the proper radius. These bearings are significantly preloaded. So if we pinch off the air to it, you'll see it comes to a complete stop. And it's so hard preloaded that I can't turn it at all with the air pressure off. Now go ahead and turn the air on, and now I can turn it with a single finger. The idea there is that these air bearings, the, the air film in the air bearings is stiffer than the structure that is preloading them onto the rotor. 
And when you turn the air pressure on, it, they push away and make their own clearance. At the demo for pump gas bearings, you can see we're using a uh, 360 degree bushing technology to support the shaft. So that bushing would be like the one that you see right here on the non-thrust end. And then at this end here, you've got a thrust bearing and a journal bearing. And so these components would bolt right into a standard pump, as you see here. So right where, here's your thrust bearing, here's your seal cartridge, here's your impellers, and then like here again, you've got another radial air bearing. So these are bearings that are directly retrofittable into pumps, eliminating oil in pump applications. New Way has also demonstrated high load gas bearings able to support large rotors like this generator shaft. What we did was we integrated into a radial air bearing our high pressure technology. So this bearing can safely take a 600 PSI input pressure and supply 4 to 450 PSI unit loading. That's much higher than most people think an air bearing can do. Here we have an example of our radial air bearings supporting an overhung load like you might have on a power turbine or a big fan or blower. So in the back here, you can see our radial tilt pad bearings. Uh, there's two journal sets of those. This is spinning completely frictionlessly. And the, one of the things this is demonstrating is right here you've got the thrust bearing, but this thrust bearing is also the seal. Similar to what you saw over there on that water demo, we've, we're combining the functionality of the thrust bearing and the seal. So if this were a solid bulkhead here, Nothing that was getting blown or the fan or nothing happening over here is going to get through that seal and into where the motor or other components are. And that's because nothing is going to come by these seal faces because they have a higher pressure and exist in this area. This demo is again illustrating the adjustable stiffness and damping properties of externally pressurized gas bearings. Here, and you can see our bearings that are specifically designed for balance machines here and here with a balance mass in the center and we've got an accelerometer mounted directly on the back of the bearing right there you can see how these functions change as we adjust air pressure using the accelerometer and software. At the show, we were able to adjust the damping function from 2% to 15%. Measure damping functions as high as 20%. And we believe that the damping functions we've been seeing are consistent with the type of damping that is available from oil bearings. The reason these balance bearings are special or different than our standard bearings is actually got more to do with the mount on the back. And you see what we've got going is a, a dog bone and a snap clip. So these bearings can be snapped in and out and uh, matched to the rotors that you are actually balancing. The operator has to do very little as far as plumbing or aligning of the bearings. He just pops them out and pops the right size in using this cool mount in the back. We believe this zero emissions dry gas seal is one of the most interesting new inventions at this year's show. We have a shaft about a four and a quarter inch diameter. It's being supported on air journal bearings there and here. Now the, the seal body is, is cantilevered, uh, but it's actually supported on its own radial air bearings. So this part right here has got two seal faces, double opposed, pushing out against this runner here and this runner here, spinning with the shaft. We're able to get thousands of PSI of pressure in here and have very little leakage out of the assembly. The reason that the seal body is mounted, the weight of it is supported on air bearings, is so that as we spin the shaft, when we put a force gauge underneath of this arm right here, we're able to measure the drag of the seal. And so we can push the faces together until we get a really small gap and a very low flow. And we can know the instant we start to generate any heat because we can read it on the force gauge. The principles involved here are that uh, with conventional aerodynamic dry gas seal, you've got to flow from the process across the seal face to the vent. You have to use a lot of buffer gas to try to protect this. 
This is a little like uh, water running downhill and across that seal face, and there's a flow across the seal face from the process. Well, what New Way does that's different is we put the uh, air pressure into the the back of the pores media, and so the highest pressure is in the gap, and there's a flow back into the process and to the vent. Now, instead of conditioning hundreds of cubic feet of buffer gas, we can condition just the few cubic feet that actually go through the face. And then nothing from the process is gonna come into this because the highest pressure is in the gap. It would be like water running uphill to go into this gap. It just doesn't do it. Lower pressure does not go into higher pressure. So the very interesting innovation is the ability to segregate gases in a single seal face. So here you would see the hydrogen and the methane coming in, uh, and all of it is going to flow back into the compressor. And here's our nitrogen, it's going to come in on the atmospheric side, and all of it is going to go into the vent. And the way we do that is we use a particle counter here that is looking for methane or hydrogen or whatever it is you're, you're actually pumping. And as soon as you see 50 or 100 parts per million of that, you up your nitrogen, say a tenth of a percent, or a tenth of a PSI then you can steer this high pressure point to the point where none of the none of the hydrogen or methane comes out of the compressor. And you can document that to the EPA because you've got your particle counter documenting everything that is not coming out of your compressor. So what we have here is zero emission dry gas seals from Newegg.